Mongo. Mongo! What? Oh, I've lived in Iowa all my life. During high school, I decided time to get a male cheerleader. So I'd get all the girls in the back of my blue and gold truck and we'd go to the rallies and it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed high school. Damn right I'm Mongo. Nobody calls me girl. I put my girls on the stage. Welcome to the legendary Blazing Saddle. Tonight we have a very special saddle roll show for you tonight, celebrating the old man's 70th birthday. Here we go. When I started, this was a straight bar, Capitol Pub. Well, we tried to get rid of that image. We got a bunch of iron workers that come in. Great guys, union all the way. Well, this one guy comes in and starts screwing my bartender, calling him faggot. A tiny, the shortest one that's built like a moose, gets up, threw the guy out of the bar and said, I don't care, he's my friend. Leave him alone and stay out of here. So we had a lot of support even with the straight community. So Mongo or Bob or the old man started this place back in 1983. And I worked for him for 25 years, probably the longest. And um, he is not always the best communicator to people directly. So I can usually figure out what he's thinking or what he means when he talks. So I would kind of explain it in terms where other people understand it. I went through the NCO Academy and got my sergeant stripes. Operations intelligence. So when I get over to NAM, they tell me we want field intelligence. So I ran a six-man team. Well, not only did we do recon, but we did hunter-killer missions. And I was in Cambodia two months before we officially went in. All we were supposed to do was blow stuff up and mop up. While well, we started taking the sniper fire, had minimum ammunition. So I looked at my lieutenant and I said, sir, with all due respect, I'm taking over. Gentlemen, fix bayonets. We're going to charge that wood line, and anything in front of us is fair game. We killed 35 hardcore NVA, had one man wounded, and I got my bronze star with a V device for valor. Everybody raise your drinks. Ooh, rah! Not just what the hell is this? Oh, Bob, it's just a stupid gift. I put it on the patio or take it home or take it down to the shop and make something out of it. Yeah, Bob, it's just a gift to say thank you, because we don't tell you that enough. And we all know you'll find something to do with that damn thing. Well, I want to thank you from the bottom of the old man's heart. Raise your glasses and let's drink about it. Ooh, Rob. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob, I can't take you seriously with that horse. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the saddle. That is such a pretty girl. Yeah. Actually, dude, they're, they're both. Well, you're so sweet. Don't you look like a little snack yourself? You're the legendary blazing saddle. It's always a double, never a cover. Well, you got twice as much in that glass. <laughs> Yikes. Whoa, <laughs> you look sick. Yeah, there he goes. You girls want to get out of here? Oh, what about your friend? Uh, I think it'll be all right. Mm, you like what you like. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, do you want to see the dressing room? Sure. Oh, up this way? Right this way. Oh, all right. Let's go. 
Oh, I am so oh, excited. Are you excited? Right this way. Alright, hurry it. Oh, uh, you cannot uh, wait. You sexy. How are you doing? <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. He got saddled. saddled. Call me when you get bored to your girlfriend. I think you right, know where to find me. It's not what you think. I just forgot my friend. He's 